Stay tuned to the end of today's topic because we're going to provide you with the information to where you can submit your questions and your topics for future Tech Talk presentations. Because remember, if you don't look good, we don't look good. Thank you from all of us at Pre Corporation. Today we're going to talk about the hater bar system. The hater bar system is the most popular attachment system for overdenture bars in the world. It's simple, it's easy to service, and it works. However, there's two or three things that are consistently done incorrectly, and that's our fault of Preet for not getting this message out there. But there's a couple things that I think we can help you with to provide you more success on your future hater bar cases. The number one comment via email, live chat, phone calls we get, the number one problem with hater bar cases is the clip is bending or rolling in when the patient seats the prosthesis. This can be one of three things. Number one, when the case was processed, the green processing clips were not used, which provides free space inside the acrylic resin for the final hater clip to flex. If you think about the final hater clip, it needs to flex out over the height of contour of the bar and snap into the undercut. If there's acrylic around the flanges, the clip is going to want to flex and there's going to be no room. The patient is going to be frustrated. I can't seat my prosthesis. So they're going to bite. They're going to exert those bite forces and that clip still has nowhere to flex. It's going to bend or roll in. So the number one call we get is the clip is bending or rolling in. Take a look around the side of the flange of the hater clip and see if there's any excess acrylic or any debris, some food, some calculus buildup that is prohibiting that clip from flexing during insertion. So, number one, the green processing clip needs to be used both during chair side and laboratory processing. The second cause of the clip bending or rolling in also relates to the green processing clip. The clips can be out of parallelism. What does that mean? So if we put a yellow hater clip on the bar, the clip rotates around the bar. There's nothing to keep it aligned in the same plane as the second, third, or fourth clips. However, when we use the green processing clips, that eliminates that rotation. The clip is going to be in the same parallel position on each bar section as it is in the first. So again, the green clips, not only do they provide the free space for the clip to flex, they maintain a parallel position for all of the clips. The third reason that the clips could be bending or rolling in goes back to patient dexterity. If we have multiple clips or we're using the clips with the distal extension attachment, how is the patient inserting the prosthesis? Are they coming from the side? Are they biting it? Simple chair side procedure, instead of having an assistant or the clinician insert the prosthesis, have the patient do it. Let's see what they do and instruct them to insert it with finger pressure with their hands and not bite the clips into place. In closing, the most important part of the hater bar system is not the clip, it's not the housing, it's the green processing clip. It's the most important point of the system. Please make sure you're using it during chair side and also laboratory procedures. Also, let's take a look at the patient's dexterity, their path of insertion, where are we going to be placing them, in the anterior or the posterior? How much space do I have? These are all going to take into account and help you make your decision which housing you, we should use. Now, in part two of the hater bar system, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the biggest questions. How do I reline an existing hater bar case? How do I make a new prosthesis on an old hater bar? Join us for part two. We'll cover all that and more. Thank you for joining us in today's Tech Talks. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this three-part series on the Hater Bar. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com. Interested in learning more about the products you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com.